Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. I'm your host, the Honorable Greg B. And today we are continuing our trip through the 90s. Well, so far through the 90s anyways. Uh, we're in 95. Yesterday we started off uh, Tops Series 1 Baseball for 95. But we're continuing on to hockey. Uh, now, hockey, uh, much like baseball, in 95 was coming off of a shortened season due to a lockout. Uh, but they did have a full season, unlike baseball. But um, you know, you know, lots of shenanigans went went down in the ninety four ninety five season. It was shortened, but everything was good and ready, back up and going in ninety five ninety six. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna dive into this, and uh, this we got the Leaf Limited uh, hockey. Yeah, I don't even know anything about this. I didn't even realize. I don't think I even realized Donruss made hockey cards or Leaf for that matter. Uh, yeah, I was definitely out of the out of the uh, hobby at this point uh, so I don't think I've ever even seen these cards but we're looking for some inserts and stuff some cool stuff um, the biggest uh, rookies we can get out of this is uh, Alfredson and Shane Doan uh, Daniel Alfredson and Shane Doan uh, so but we're also looking for the stars and stuff now there's a number on there 7107 I don't know what that means I don't know how many sets or how many boxes were made or whatever uh, but I uh, it says it's limited, so it was limited to something. I'm not really 100% sure. Uh, but, uh, and even my research has shown that they don't even know. They weren't even sure. Uh, supposedly, there was a certain amount of stuff made, but then people found out that those numbers may not have been totally accurate. Uh, in any event, uh, there are 20 packs in this box. I believe there's five cards per pack, or um, if I remember correctly. So, over the course of the next few weeks, we're going to do five packs um a video kind of spread it out um uh, kind of like we're doing with the baseball as well so yeah um let's see what these bad boys look like oh wow these are uh okay um that's an interesting box these kind of all got hopefully all cards are okay it's kind of got joshled around a bit um but uh yeah i mean it's 25 years old at this point so all right, so we're gonna do, let's see, what did I say, five? So there's 20, okay, we'll do five packs today and then we'll continue on with more packs next week. So yeah, um, let's take a look at the pack. Um, got five cards, and, you know, everything's in English and in French because it's hockey and Canada. Uh, there are your odds on stuff. So we're looking for some of those cool inserts and whatnot. Uh, there's no, like, relics or autos, or I don't think, in any of this. Uh, that was before, still a little before that time when that was kind of the norm, uh, became the norm. I mean, yeah, there were some products that did have autographs and stuff, but relics, I don't think it had come around yet. But uh, anyways, all right, let's dive into this. Let's see what these bad boys are all about. Um, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen these in my life. So, uh, it's going to be interesting. Um, all right. Starting things off, we got um, Blaine Locker. I remember him. The Loch Mo Ness Monster <laughs> for the Bruins. Yeah, I definitely remember him. Uh, he, he came out of nowhere. It was really a big prospect. And then we ended up just trading him. I think we traded him to... I can't remember where we even traded him. Or maybe we just let him go. I don't even remember. But yeah, these are cool looking cards. I mean, they're very uh, shiny and shimmery. Uh, uh, seemed like more of something out of the day than the 90s, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I don't know. They're kind of 90s-ish, I guess. And then there we go. Hey, right up. First pack. Can't do much better than that. Wayne Gretzky. There he is. Um, it's probably a decent card. Um, I don't really know, but uh, I mean, you know, it's a Wayne Gretzky, so obviously it's going to be good. So yeah, that's definitely a solid start. And then we got uh, Trevor Kidd, Calgary. I those I don't remember that jersey looks weird on him. I don't remember Calgary jerseys looking like that. Why is it all weird like that? Calgary have these jerseys? I don't remember these. But um, anyways, uh, yeah, that's uh, interesting. All right, but anyways, Trevor Kidd, uh, goalie. Calgary. He bounced around a few different teams, I think. 
Uh, Joe Sackick, he's a good, uh, good solid player. We go on. To, obviously, this was the first year of the Avalanche. Uh, they would go on to win the uh, Stanley Cup Finals uh, behind Joe Sackick as their captain, and obviously trading for Patrick Roy halfway through the season didn't didn't hurt anything. And uh, getting, you know, having Forsberg, you know, actually playing as opposed to, well, I guess he'd played the year before after the Olympics and whatever. But um, yeah, so. Solid, solid card there, and then we finish off with Jamie Storr, goalie for the Kings. I don't, can't say I remember him too much, but uh, there you go. So, cool cards, cool cards, uh, interesting uh, design and everything. Uh, um, I'm guessing this was a higher-end product back in the day, and these packs probably cost a good amount of money for only five cards. Uh, probably wouldn't have been something I bought anyways, but regardless, here we go. Uh, Olin Nolan. When he moved on to the Sharks, uh, he had been on the Nordiques prior to this. Uh, I forget what year he moved over to the Sharks, but um, he missed out on the uh, Cup 1 with the Avalanche. I uh, definitely wasn't on the Avalanche. Uh, cool card, Peter Bondra. Uh, Long-time capital. He's a pretty solid player back in the day. Then we got... Scott Niedermeyer, part of that one-two punch with Scott Stevens on the back the back end of the Devils, obviously when they were doing a lot of damage back in the day, coming off the Stanley Cup victory um, in 95. Then we got Oleg Tevardovsky for the Anaheim Mighty Ducks, or the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim as they were known then. Uh, now they're just the Anaheim Ducks, although they have brought back this design for their third jersey. Uh, although they're orange, I don't know. I don't really like them. Um, I mean, I prefer this old school uh, version. Although I actually like the original Mighty Ducks from the movie, like that that logo. This this one they, this one they incorporated for the team, and then was in the movie after that. But and Cam Neely, Hall of Famer Cam Neely, obviously the president of the Bruins right now. Uh, doing a good job putting teams together, or him along with Don Sweeney now. Uh, the Bruins having a solid year. Hopefully, uh, if they do do whatever they're going to do with these playoffs, potentially, uh, hopefully the Bruins can make some noise, get back to the Stanley Cup Finals, and maybe win it. Uh, it'd be a little bittersweet if I won't be able to go to go to the games as I um, have Bruins season tickets. But still, it would be fun to watch some hockey if they could actually get everything in order and put together so we'll see what happens with that though uh, you got to be safe you can't uh, just throw a bunch of people in without uh, taking the, all the precautions and, and stuff so um all right next up we got uh what does that say i it's kind of hard to read a little bit but erratic dvorak yeah okay erratic dvorak um can't say much about him um Steve Thomas for the uh, Devils. Trevor Linden. He was the captain of the Canucks back in the day. Then we got uh, Brian Savage. No relation to Randy, I do not believe, because that was actually not Randy's last name, so that wouldn't even make sense. And then Brett Lindros. Now, I don't know that... Is he related to Eric Lindros? Maybe? I, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember Brett Lindros. Obviously, I remember Eric Lindros. Uh, I'm guessing he's maybe related? I don't know. Not 100% sure. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. Um, and, by the way, while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. Uh, hit the share button. Hit the notification bell. All that stuff. Hit the... All those, you know, there's a bunch of links for my blog, pod, podcast, uh, Twitter... Instagram, uh, all that stuff. Hit all that stuff, too. And head on down in the comments. Let me know if Brett Lindros was related to Eric Lindros. Because I don't know for sure. And uh, maybe tell me what else you like about these cards. Victor Ro Kozlov. Then we got Jason Daw. Can't say I remember Jason. Uh, next up, we got uh, Chris Chelios. Obviously, he was a uh, perennial uh, star back in the day. Defenseman for the Blackhawks and Red Wings. 
still in our Blackhawks, clearly here, but uh, move on to the Red Wings, have a really long career. Larry Murphy. And then finishing off with Kenny Johansson. Yo, Johnson. Jo Johnson? Jo I'm Johnson? I don't know. Not sure how he pronounced it. I know a lot of people have pronounced that kind of differently, but I'm not sure. All right, finishing up last pack for today. Um, let me get this open. We got Sergei Zubov. So he was a solid player. Bounced around to a bunch of different teams, I feel like. Darren Poopa. Of course, uh, <laughs> kind of a funny last name, but hey, you know, he got the job done on some teams, I think. Obviously, he's a little lightning here, but I remember him on the Sabres. Um, I think Sabres, right? I don't know. I feel like he was on a few different teams. Rod Brindamore. When he was on the Flyers. Finishing up with Brian Leach. Solid player. Uh, ended up with this. Ended up with the Bruins. Strangely, uh, out of nowhere. But he 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 was one of those guys that was kind of like, it was cool to have him on the Bruins that one year. But at the same time, it's like he was a lifelong Ranger. He should have just been a Ranger his whole career. It kind of was weird that he was even on a different team. But uh, there you go. And then Daniel Alfredson. There he is, rookie phenom for the Ottawa Senators. Obviously, he would have a. Tremendous career for the Senators and finished things up with the Red Wings, I believe, is where he ended up at the end of his career. But obviously, he's well known for his time with the uh, Senators. So there you go. Good rookie card. Got the good, the big, best rookie card we can get out of here. We got a Wayne Gretzky. So like we're off to a solid start. But um, we got more to go. Plenty more to go in here. So come back uh, next week as we open up some more of these packs. Uh, but be sure to hit that subscribe button, give the thumbs up, share this with everyone in the world, hit the notification bell, all that fun stuff, so you'll know next time, next week when this next video drops, you'll know exactly when it is. But also come back, watch some of the other videos, come back tomorrow, I'm doing daily videos, so there's plenty of content to watch. So check it all out, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, bye.